everyone. I am Paula Venus. So beautiful being with you here today on, on this day. I, I was on Mama Shasta today, also doing um, a nice face and a, a really strong, powerful um, I was, uh, I received messages from Pleiadians and, and um, Venusians and, and they guided me to create an organic timeline today. Um, one of the golden age and, and the way it flows and, and, and the way it plays and the harmonics of, of this new, new timeline that has been anchored in at level of essence today, today here in Mount Shasta. So here for we are entering today, the newness. There is today actually is a, is a number nine day. If you add up all the numbers, it's a number nine day and nine is finalization. It's over. Time to be who you are. No more pretending, no more doing things that don't match your frequency. This is, this is, this is a gift beautiful gift for humanity and all of you here are part of this mission and part of this gift and for we are all one from no matter what planet we originate from i i come from venus and venus is home or venus is peace it's you know harmony um god technology the air we we breathe is you know life force life force here it's also life force you just maybe can't feel the subtleness of of what it takes to to truly connect with the higher realms. And you are the higher realms, first and foremost. All of you are the higher realms. Um, I do speak with my eyes closed mostly, and that's why I wear sunglasses. Um, you are the higher realms right now within this physical body. And so to just really begin to feel this up for a moment. So why don't we all just take a moment, really, and just close your eyes. Close your eyes. I am broadcasting from my home in Mount Shasta after being on the mountain all day. And we did snow today. And the mountain is white, crystalline. The energy was so vividly strong, fifth dimensionally colored. So just to breathe into our hearts for a moment, to breathe in the new earth, the new earth, the love that you imagine the new earth would feel like. Breathe this in to your heart, to your chest area. And just to begin to tune in to the now moment, for this is a God moment, an omnipresent. Now well, you're present now. So begin to just receive the breath. 
Just let yourself rest as you receive this breath. And together, just to hold consciousness, the vision of what is now. And what is now is heaven on earth. Today, I was in heaven on earth. And I still am. There are many earths you choose in here. And choosing is something that is truly more of a surrender. And so I, I went through I, I'm going to speak about galactic embodiment and how this is everything. We, we, you can speak about ascension all, all day long. You can speak about, you know, global ascension. And that's beautiful. Know that that is something that is very easy. As hard as it may appear. The most important part and why you're here on earth for all of you are galactic beings. You're all galactic beings, all of you. And, and you came to earth to feel the human suffering. So sometimes, you know, you know it hurts and, and, and you're gonna feel trauma and you're gonna feel pain and you're gonna feel abandonment from, from God abandonment from, from a boyfriend or a girlfriend. All of these things are beautiful doorways. And so during my awakening and then and further on the embodiment of who I am, Paula Venus, it took about two years of spiritual awakening on Mount Shasta, walking every day on the mountain. And after that, it, I spent another two years or embodying of embodiment. And the embodiment continues for we are gigantic multidimensional beings of light. And as you begin to really tune into this, you, you expand and this piece, who you really are, the energy, the frequency. And I, I do hold a Venusian frequency and this surrounds me and you receive from this field. I create this field from my spiritual heart. It's all automatic now. And you do receive codes, information. Um, mostly it's unconditional love codes of love for the substratum of the universe is love. So always remember that. And you are love. You have always been love, only love. Everything else is just for this beautiful mission that we're on, Galactic Travelers. And so, embodiment in humanity. What, 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 it, what does it mean? The, the, first, the first step, and I can only share the way that I did it on Mount Shasta. 
and it's a long story. And it will be out in the documentary next year. It's done film already, and this will be on Gaia TV. So this is what I want you to do. Those of you who are really ready, who really feel it's time now, it's time for me to, to, finally, to finally be me. This is all that's being asked of you, is to be you. To finally just be you. That's all. You are everything. You are the masters. You are as I am. And I do come from the six dimensional realm of the ascended masters on Venus. This is my first time in the human body on earth. And I came to feel all of this, to feel the human suffering and the abandonment and the pain, all of it. And guess what? To embody it. So how do you embody this stuff? So within your body consciousness, there are, are many, many, many consciousnesses, many I consciousnesses, you know, um, there's one that will go to sleep at night, another that will dream, another that will wake up, another that feels fear, another one that feels abandonment, another one that wants to be enlightened. And as you, you know, you do this in, in meditation, as you begin to just look at them all, you see that there's space between all of them. There is. There's, there's space and you can actually see them from this point of consciousness, of awareness, of, of oneness, of consciousness. And you recognize that you're not the one that goes to sleep or the one that dreams. You're always present. You are pure reality. You are eternal light. You're not the one that, that feels fear or the one that feels abandonment. These things don't exist in the higher realms. God doesn't feel fear or abandonment. You are God. You. You are God. You. There's nothing that you need. Nothing I am here to, to teach you. I'm only here to remind you of who you are is perfect. Perfect light, perfect being. All of these activations, these keys, these codes that you are receiving right now. These are all for your body, all for the cells, for the mind for all your physicality. For this body, this vehicle has to metamorphosize into a diamond-like structure to hold you, to be able to hold who you are, to hold your frequency because you are so gigantic multi-dimensional that this carbon system can't hold you really and that's why there are fields and fields around us yeah so back to these human moments of suffering so I, so I came to feel it all and I did and, and I, I went one by one and I alchemized each and every one ultimately truly into what it is. And again, these are doorways. 
and <clears throat> all of this is God. All of this is the highest, the highest realms playing out for you to reveal the light here on earth. So what you will do is in, in the evenings or whenever you feel called, you could be in the forest, in a sacred place, alone, call on the masters, call on your guides, call on the angels, whoever you want, and begin to go into each fear. Fear, 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 fear. Do another one, you know, guilt, 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 guilt. Abandonment, abandonment, abandonment. I'm not good enough. Abuse. Unloved. You know, all, all of these things. And, and I want you to go into each moment, to fully go into it. And when you do, you're going to see someone there. And you're going to have a bunch of them that you know already. So, so go into them and talk to whoever's there. And this was shown to me by Ascended Master, Saint Germain. He is the one who showed me how to do this. This is not from a book. This is very simple. The truth is simple. And anything complicated will only bring you back to silence. So stay to simple things. When, when you enter this fear, and you'll go moment by moment, You'll see a person there, and maybe it'll be a, a boyfriend and, or, or a mother or a father. And, and you'll just tell them, and you'll yell at them. And you'll say, you hurt me, you know, and it really hurt. And all of it, you're going to tell them everything out loud. You're going to say it out loud. You're going to cry. You have to be fully human during these moments. Um, it's why you're in a human body. Otherwise, there's no reason for you to be in the human body at all. Otherwise, you'd just be in the higher realms doing the mission from there. But you chose to come to do this for this is the only way to alchemize human anger and to ultimately divine love. As you go and talk to them and yell at them and scream at them and cry and cry and cry, then you will find a moment of peace. And this moment of peace, it rises, it rises from below you and behind you. And this is your awareness and your awareness is light. And, and this awareness brings with it forgiveness for forgiveness only exists on earth. There, there are no, in the higher realms, there is no need for forgiveness, it doesn't exist. But here on earth, you, you're going to forgive them. You're going to say their name and you're going to forgive them. You're going to say your, your name and you're going to forgive yourself. This human aspect of, of yourself, you're fully going to forgive them. And you're going to continue. You're going to see the moment burst to light and you're going to feel this light. And if you can, and then just keep going. Another fear, another moment, another trauma, Another guilt, go through everything, all of it, until until there's nothing that they, that you can that's in your consciousness that you can remember. And after that, I want you to go deeper, and I want you to ask. Fear, hey fear, when, when were you born? When were you born, fear? Show me. And then just listen to the silence. Hold on to the question. Ask it again if you need to. This may take moments this may take weeks but at some point you will find the source of the fear and you will go to that moment and you will see who's there you will feel it all again you will talk to them you will say their their name 
how they did this to you, how awful, how it still is inside this body. And as the peace arrives after the tears, tears are very important. After the peace comes, your awareness, the forgiveness, I, I'll tell you that all the fears, mo, mo, all these fears you have dissolve. It's like they just evaporate. They don't go away somewhere, but they alchemize. Each time that you are doing this, you are being a master alchemist. You are alchemizing fear into divine fear, into love, abandonment, the divine abandonment into love. Guilt, sadness into divine sadness, into love. And in so doing so, you are being a master alchemist and you are, as you continue to do this, you, you are embodying each one of these moments. They enter back into your body. For me, they've entered in my legs, I would say. And this will bring you peace. This will bring you a, a, a certain sensitivity When fears come, they will come as long as you're in the human body, but they won't overpower you. Uh, you will put the fear right over here or, or, or whatever it is. And you will go there and enter it when you, when you choose. And you will alchemize that moment after you feel it. You do have to feel it. And it's why you're in a human body. I know it's been difficult for many of you, but today is a day. And so once you do this, you will have silence. And what begins to happen is you begin to emerge who you truly are, the frequency of who you are will break your heart open for as, as you embody all of your humanity, your heart will break open. And after, and it could be immediate or it could take some, you know, there, there's, we're in a 3D world and there is time here. And so we have to let that happen. But you will burst through this illusion of consciousness. And you will arrive and you will be within the body, fully present as a master of life, embodied, being I am. I am being I am, being I am, I am, I am being, being I am. And you will hold a frequency of you. And this is all that is needed. As you hold this frequency of you, you will hold a field around you. you. You can create it with your breath and your awareness. And then it happens. And then you just radiate. You receive from the space between the words that I say. The words are to help the mind enter the heart, enter oneness. In the same way you are this, this, this love, this permanence. And today, I really want you to celebrate yourself 
today the energy on Mount Shasta has, has changed everything. There is nothing that you need to be any longer that you are not. You will, you, you're, you're going to want to stay in the higher realms at some point, but don't remember you're here to be perfect duality, perfect duality. You are the higher realms, you are this physical body. Love and connect to the fifth dimension, to the fourth dimension. Love the 3D, the pain, the anger, the sadness, the joys of being human, being in the human body. Love it all together. Bring it together as one. This is ultimately the mission. You are perfect duality. Embrace it and rejoice. For today we start a truly a new dimensional quantum way of living on earth. And I send you this light from Mount Shasta. Remember, follow God's will. Let it be God's will. And the celebration of today. Peace to all of you. Love to all of you.